man. <laughs> Brandon, thank you very much. We have Jordan Davis joining us here. He's taking some pictures. He's talking to the media right now. And we had Devontae Wyatt just on as well. And, and I wanted to ask you what he was uh, asked as well about you guys. The loss in the SEC championship game. You come back here in a, in a place for you guys to win the national championship. What was that like for you guys? Definitely. I think in the SEC championship, it was our wake-up call. Uh, we knew we had to do the little things better. We had to do the little things better. That's what we focused on. What's important now? We always say when. What's important now? So we came back. We got back to the drawing board and got better. Devontae said the very next practice after the SEC championship game was when things sort of clicked for you guys, and it certainly showed up uh, in, in the title game. Let me ask you this, because you see Jordan Davis at 350 or 360, whatever you played at, and you think, oh, this is a two-down player. You're not a two-down player. You can get you collapse pockets on the regular. You're also obviously very impactful in the run game, but you get after as a pass rusher. So when you talk to NFL teams and they say, are you a three-down guy, how do you explain to them that, that you can, you're capable of doing that each and every series? I say yes, because because, um, you know, that's what I've been working on in the offseason. I knew that was probably my Achilles heel. And, you know, anything that I want to get and want to achieve, I work for it. And so, you know, it's always an opportunity to get better. You know, you can either get better or worse. And I chose to get better. So I called on the resources that I need to and just did what I needed to do as a pass rusher. Yeah, you remind me a lot of Dexter Lawrence in that sense because he had a lot of the same questions. People just thought, oh, he's just a, a one-gap penetrator. Just because you're asked to do something doesn't mean you can't do something. Right. And I know you are able to get to the quarterback and collapse because you wouldn't be able to if you didn't have quickness and hand usage. What was Georgia asking you to do within their defensive scheme that showed what you can do but also, hey, I can do this as well? Definitely. Um you know, I, I was always a pocket collapser. That was my best asset to my game in the pass rushing. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I did what I had to do to win. I did what they did in the scheme. And, you know, at this point, it's about being a complete player. I want to have all three phases. So I want to be athletic. I want to be a good run stopper. And I want to be a good pass rusher. So, you know, just having that tool in my toolbox, you know, you always have it on you. Not, you don't use it every play or every down, but just having it on you is a good asset. It's interesting because watching you guys in a, in a national championship game, I thought that was the loosest you guys played all season. Was it the, the SEC title game that kind of broke the, the curse and said, you know what, we were playing too tense, let's go in this game and play loose, we are playing with house money. Was that the case? I mean, we just had to get back to where we got to. So, you know, um, we had a formula all through the regular season. You know, we had a spectacular regular season, kind of fell away from it in the SEC title game. But at the end of the day, we just got back where our feet was, we got back to work, and then at the end of the day, you see the result. It helps when you have what feels like 11 first-rounders on that defense. That, that was a pretty good group. Uh, let me ask you two questions. Um, number one, and this may be a short list as well, were there any guys you went up against in the SEC that, that gave you trouble on the inside? Because you I mean, you outweigh a lot of those guys by 20, 30, 40 pounds. And, and number two, we talked to Devontae Wyatt just a moment ago, and he talked about how close you guys were, uh, the D-line and the linebackers, and how you guys spent a lot of time together and how that impacted how you came together at the end there. So the offensive line, any guys that are tough? And then tell me about the relationship you have with your team. Well, I'll tell you, anywhere in the SEC, you're going to have a tough time with the offensive line. You know, that's what you go to the SEC for, is to be the best and play against the best. So, you know, I like to call it NFLU in the yeah. SEC. So, um, you know, you're definitely getting that experience. You're getting that, that first taste of what it's going to be like at the next level. And then and with regards to the love that we have for each other, you know, me and Vonta, you know, blood couldn't make us closer. And, you know, if you hang around us, you'll see that. Um, Trayvon Walker, the front seven really, you know, we hang out with each other outside of football and it's like a love that we have outside of football you know, football is only going to take you for so far one day you're going to have to put the cleats up but, you know, Vontae will probably end up being an uncle to my children when I have it so that shows you the type of relationship and how deep it is, so, you know at the end of the day, you know, football is football, but it's the life thing that we're more focused on. Right, no, absolutely that's exactly what he said Definitely. Yeah, we always talk football, but you, you touched on it. I want to dive into that and tap into that. Once you hang those cleats up, ideally, what is it that you want to do in life? Shoot, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I want to do that. I'm, I'm gonna, my, my major was religion, but I'm going to go back for communications because I want to be a reporter, whether that's sideline or just being on the news. Um, I feel like I have the voice and the body for it, command attention. So, you know, at the end of the day, I might be sitting next to you one day. Uh, I, I love it. Next to you, you'll be in this seat. Maybe go to Dunn. You're certainly appreciated, man. Enjoy this week, and thanks for stopping by CBS Sports HQ. I appreciate you. Thank you. Jordan Davis from Georgia. We'll send it back to you in the studio.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.